Hi everyone! In this video, we will review the difference between a document template and a layout. We will focus on how to customize a template and layout, including adding a QR code and making basic edits. As a reminder, a document template is where all of your event information is added. The layouts pull information from the template for you to view. Examples of layouts are the contract, event invoice, and kitchen sheet. Whenever a change needs to be made to a document, it must be changed in the template and updates will automatically push to all other layouts. If I need to make a change on a document for a single event, I will do so by heading into the Documents tab of my event. If I need to make a permanent change or any other adjustments for all events moving forward, I need to update the template on the back end in Settings. I need to have the appropriate settings access to edit and customize templates. To get started, I will head to Settings, Documents, so I can show how to adjust them if needed. Here is where I can control all of my templates and layouts. I may only have one set of documents or multiple based on my venue's needs. There are a few reasons why I may want to have more than one document template. Some of those reasons might include templates for my different locations within my group, templates for different types of events, maybe a small private dining event, or even events that require a different billing setup. For example, a catering contract may have a delivery fee, maybe a different service charge, or a special type of contract. It is important to note that if you adjust the template in settings, it is only for documents going forward. If you adjust the layout in settings, it changes all documents, past, present, retroactive. If I have online payments enabled, I have the option to enable QR codes on my layouts. QR codes are an efficient way for guests to pay and finalize event charges in real time. This is a two-step process. First, I need to make sure to click Enable QR Code next to the template. Next, I will click on the layout where I want the QR code to show. Triple Seat recommends adding a QR code to the invoice or BEO layouts. If I want to make an edit to a template, I will hover over the template name and on the right hand side, I will select Edit Template Content. I notice that this page looks very similar to the way it looked when I added this document set to an event, but I am now editing this template for future use. Any information or detailing fields that appear on my layouts will pull from sections of my template. A common triple seat question is, how do I update my terms and conditions? To change my terms, I will scroll down to the terms field within the template and make my changes. It is important to note that this will only affect newly created documents moving forward, so it won't retroactively affect any documents that have already been created and have already been signed. I can also add merge fields by right-clicking my mouse within my text field sections to populate certain information per event, like the event name or venue location. It is important to press Save Template when I have made all changes. At the top, I can select Template Properties to rename this template or assign this template to multiple locations. I can recover any deleted sections here or click on any of my layouts to easily edit and jump from one layout to the next. It is important to note that deleting any of these fields from the template will remove them from any existing documents that are using them. I can also utilize the Fields section at the bottom of my navigation menu to add additional information to my template. For example, if I wanted to add a new Food Notes field to my Kitchen Sheet layout, I first need to add it to my template. I can drag and drop my text box field to my template to use. I will name the text field Food Notes 
and be sure to select save when done. Once I've added food notes to my template, next I need to add it to the layout I want it to appear on. I will click on the kitchen sheet layout. The left hand sidebar shows all of the options for my template that can be added to layouts. I will drag and drop my newly created food notes field listed under layout items. Once I place the food notes field where I need it to show, I can click on the text box to make optional adjustments such as adding an embeddable header. I can make the header embeddable so that if I don't have any food notes on a specific event, the header will not even appear. This helps clean up the layout and not include any unwanted information that I don't need. To add an embeddable header, I like to copy and paste from an existing header. So I will click into the special instructions header, click command A to select all, and copy the text. Next, I will click on the newly added food notes field, enable the header, and paste in the copied text. The last step is replacing the name with the customer facing header and saving the layout. Next, I will show how to make other edits to a layout. Some reasons why edits might be made to a layout is to adjust the way it looks, rearrange items, or add and remove items that appear in the layout. For example, I will edit the invoice. If I were looking to rearrange items, I can drag and drop where I'd like the fields to appear. I can further customize fields by clicking on the field within the layout to make certain changes, like adding a border or showing the price or quantity. I can change the text alignment, the style, font size or color, or choose whether I'd like to see the long or short description. If I wanted to remove something from being visible on the layout, I can click on that field and click remove. I can see all available fields in the layout item section on the left. Again, it's important to remember that changes to documents can only be made to the template. If I'm in a text box on a layout and want to make a change, this button is a good reminder of this. I can click on the edit content button and it will bring me directly to the template to make this change. For all other types of boxes that I might want to change, I will need to click directly into the template. I can also click on layout properties from here to adjust the layout as a whole. I can adjust the layout name, see which locations have access to this layout, modify the font style, size, and a border. I can also make this layout internal for me and my team only, so there will not be a share button available when in the documents tab of an event. You can also enable QR codes on the layout here. Here, I can also enable the advanced PDF converter feature, which allows me to input headers and footers. I can also find the design elements, which are triple seat fields. To add additional layout items, such as a signature, a two column container, or maybe even a gratuity selector, I can drag and drop from here. If I click on the field, I can adjust the wording too. Something to note, any change I make to a layout will affect not only newly created documents moving forward, but will also affect documents that have already been created. So in this example, contracts that have already been created will now show the second spot for a signature. And if I were to add further design elements like a divider or a two column container, that would affect the design of past contracts as well. Once set, I will click save at the top left corner. To make a one-time change to an event, make sure to watch our previous video called Document Templates and Layouts, Front End. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please reach out to the support team, support at triplesseat.com, or by clicking the Help Questions button at the top right corner of any screen in Triple Seat.